Woo. All right. It's Friday. It's hot. Who's calling? And, uh, well, here we go. Friday. We have our warm up. We got three rounds. Might be a little out of breath. I just flew through the workout demonstration for the 6 a.m. to make sure they're on board. Warm up is a pretty standard one. We started with our step ups. You got step ups, you can do jumping jacks, run to plank swings. Now, squat to stand would be next. Almost a full house here. We got 11 sitting here. Whew. Hope you guys at home you get a chance to enjoy this workout before the long weekend. It's not a, not a long weekend, I guess. Just a weekend that's going to feel long, I hope. Fourth of July tomorrow. We're getting that workout in early. We had 11 at the 5 o'clock. 11 now. All right. So after our squat to stand, we have our forward and back lunge. All right. Forward is one, back is two, six on each side. So three forward and three back. And I got our slash of the halo. Slash the halo, we're up on that box, doing our switch. Drive that leg through the box. Well, with those, in step. And the number is three aside, so that's all about that time for me. Take your time down there, get that nice stretch, reach, rotation. Finish that in-step stretch, and we start over again from the top. All right, round two. It is hot, muggy. Make sure we're hydrating today, all right, guys? Staying, getting plenty of liquids in. This is the kind of weekend that we get the alcoholic kind of beverage a liquid in later on in the day, later on in the weekend. Even more important, to drink plenty of water. Get some electrolytes in your water. That doesn't necessarily mean Gatorade. Alright. I'll buy uh, some mineral supplement and electrolyte supplement that I put in my water. It's good to help replenish all that sweat. All right, because it does happen. It's humid, you get sweaty, you drip a lot, you need to replenish. All right, and water is good, but extra electrolytes are good. You get Himalayan uh, sea salt, the pink stuff, put that in your water. That's good. I do a lemon oil in my water with some salt, some extra mineral essence, and extra electrolytes. That's first thing in the morning, but during the day, you need to drink plenty of water. All right, where are we now? We did the step ups, plank swings, squat to stands. Now we're on a forward to back lunge. All right, you guys know this warm up pretty well, pretty basic stuff. Wanted to go kind of easy for the warm up so we can get right to the nitty gritty with our workout. Slash it a halo. Actually, another thing I'm excited to announce is I'm going to start carrying a recovery drink here in LinkedIn. They got a meat fridge coming in and vital proteins is where I get my collagen and, and protein from. Excellent, excellent company. And I've been selling the uh, collagen peptides for a while. If you're not on that, I suggest you give it a shot. I just got a big shipment in, put it in my coffee every morning. I put it in the kids smoothies. Been doing that for years. Uh, helps a lot of things. It helps the Elasticity in your muscles, your joints, your skin, 
helps that be more elastic. Helps grow hair and nails. Uh, over time, it's not something that happens instantly, but you have it for a couple of weeks, and then you start to notice a difference, and then good stuff, good stuff. So, anyways, the recovery drink that I'm gonna start having here is again, it's got a lot of the collagen in it, but it's got some BCAAs, branch chain amino acids, very good after a workout. BCAAs, essential chain <clears throat> amino acids. I forget the difference on uh, that, but it's written on the bottle. Anyways, look for that if you're coming back into the gym soon. If you're not coming back in the gym, you're staying home, being safe, hey, that's totally fine. Like I said, we'll still do these workouts. But if you want some collagen, you want some of uh, this stuff, let me know. I can do it. You can do a delivery if I had to. No problem. Well, assuming you're in the in Rhode Island. I'm not leaving Rhode Island, man. I'm I'm building a wall. I'm not leaving. I don't know if I can trust the rest of the country. <laughs> Uh, all right, where are we at? Just start our third round of our warm up. All right, step ups, plank swings. Again, plank swings, take your time, get that nice stretch of the shoulders. Squat to stand, get nice and deep into that squat. Hold it down there for a little bit. Okay. Open up those hips, hip flexors. Good for you. Stand, we're going to our forward and back lunge next. Woo. Right, forward and back lunge, we'll go to our slash of the halo. stretched out all right all right so your workout today i think you guys probably know but we've got 40 minutes on the clock we're going to do three rounds of our exercises round one is 16 reps round two is 20 reps round three is 24. those are all total numbers so eight aside 10 aside 12 aside you start with the ones you do all the ones then you go with all the twos all the threes the fours the fives and then you do the second round 20 and then the third round of 24. Whatever time you have left on the clock, we're gonna set 40 minutes on the clock. When you finish your three rounds, whatever time left on that clock, that's how much cardio time that you have, all right? So I know some people who have a machine at home, you're gonna get on that machine. If no machine today, you're gonna to go do your normal jog, do your normal bike ride, do a walk or something like that, you'll be good to go. All right, when you're out this finish, I'm gonna go set the clock, so get ready. still be underneath our feet should still be underneath our weight right you don't want that weight going too far out to the side so as you turn and twist and pivot you're still nice and tall nice and long 
That weight shouldn't be uh, outside your shoulder. And we got eight of them for side. Good, 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 good. And then we finish, then we go from our rotational press, we have heel touch on the box, right? Nice and easy, dropping that heel down, don't put any pressure on it. Little heel touch, eight aside, eight aside. All right, heel touch is a good control, the slow motion, not slow motion, but slow controlled exercise. Don't need to go too fast on this one. I did warn everyone out there, give you two options. You go light and fast, you're gonna have a lot of cardio to do at the end. The heavy and slow, maybe not so much. So it's up to you, what do you want? Cycling twist is next, All right? Everyone knows the cycling twist. Rotate the other body, cycle his legs. Tap the ground. 16 of them. All right, this is a newish exercise, the around the world, right? We're gonna have our balance on one leg and we gotta go around our body, holding that kettlebell, keeping our balance. We're gonna go eight on one leg, eight on the other. Reverse direction once in a while if you want. He is keeping that balance, keeping that balance. All right. Walk the dog now. This is like a forward and back lunge with leg on the box. Josh is in the background. He's demonstrating the squat touch. I appreciate him getting ahead of the game and showing everybody what the squat touch is. And he just realized that, well, I'm going to just keep going because I messed up. And I'll do the walk the dog later. So again, walk the dog. One foot is on that box. As we go forward and back lunge on that box. Why do I call it walk the dog? I thought I heard somebody call it that once. Actually, it was Kathy Conlon. We mentioned that was an old step aerobic exercise. So I figured, what the heck. All right, now we got the side plank. Bottom knee to the top elbow. All right. So now we got the husband wife team over here already talking about something. I'm not sure exactly what. It's always good to separate the husband and wife during workouts. They have enough together time in a workout they need to be far apart. Sometimes, not always. But this is your upper plank, bottom knee, top elbow. We're nice and strong with that shoulder. Nice long arm. Bring that knee up and into and touch that top elbow. And then straighten it out. Nice long leg. All right. As Sherry's finishing that up, we see Henry with his split stance. Twist. It's supposed to be a twist, not a slash. Twist, not slash, twist, twist. That inch, Brenda, get that knee close to the ground. Nice and low, nice split stance, hold it strong, big old twist. All right. Get those assisted groiners, right? Where we're just gonna bring those feet up, do a nice low squat, pop up, and pop back. Not like a bottom, ooh, what's going on? All right, it can hop. I was worried for a second. All right, there we go. Our groiners. Popping those feet up. Nice little squat. And then you pop back. All right, I know Sherry's working on the bum ankle, but it seems like it's okay so far. Hopefully it'll stick that way. Gotta get nice and low in that squat. Nice and low in that squat. You up. All right, 16 of those assisted groiners. The V up, leg drop, right? We're in a nice, good, strong V up position. 
Drop them one foot at a time. Little tap, little tap. All right, the assisted way to do that is having the elbows on the ground. All right, otherwise you have your hand up in the air and you do that one. Hands up in the air, chest up. Makes that one a little more difficult. All right, next up is a kneeling curl, All right? So we're kneeling down, so we take away all of our leg power. We're nice and tall, nice and long, and we're curling. Yes, we've done lots of curls lately, getting those biceps. We've ignored the biceps for too long. We're working the biceps now, All right? Let's see, someone had a question of the groiners. So Sherry did that quick redo of the groiners. Who was that? That was asking the question. Is this Jane in the background? She's back in the 5, 6 a.m. All right. Now we, after our kneeling curls, we go to our squat touch. Josh is now realizing he did that by accident. You missed the walk the dog. You missed walk the dog. Forward and back leg. All right, now we're on our squat touch. So we're on the box. Stay low with that one leg like you're in the tunnel. Stay as low as you can. We go back and forth, back and forth. Oh yeah, and Henry's doing his decline push-ups. Makes it a little harder to put the toes on that box. Uh, we're still with uh, Sherry doing the squat touches, right? Side to side, staying low, staying low in that. On that box if you can. Ooh, 16, eight aside. All right, now you have your push ups. Even Sherry's going with the decline push ups. Look at her go. You go, girl. It's up. Your own push up right there, right? Go on in and tell me girly push ups aren't easy. Assistant push ups, we call them, is when you're on your knees or you're on the incline. That is absolutely fine. Don't care if you're a guy or a girl. All right, that was it. Four, line four. Line five. Start with our pulse squat. All right, so you got the goblet hold of that weight. You're going to squat, a little pulse at the bottom, and then stand up. That's it. You squat with the pulse, and stand. A little extra little boost at the bottom. Get those glutes active. Get those things working good. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Again, just 16 of them. It's a little extra half a squat, so 16 full, eight and a half, so that equal. I don't know. Keep us some, some good glute activation, hopefully. Should definitely get him going. That should definitely get him going. We're at 31 minutes left on the clock, so finish the first round of 10. All right, look at what Henry doing his lateral suit step, and he's got it. He's got the motion down. He does have it. Let's see now. How is Sherry gonna do it here? She said she watched this video a bunch of times, so hopefully she gets this one figured out. Once you get into that rhythm, it's fine. If you don't have any kind of steps, you can work on like a lateral. Uh, switch, like pretend he had ladders, and just do your lateral switch up and back, but here we go if you do have steps, right? We go lateral switch on the box, in between the box, and then three steps over, on the other side, I should say. Switch, 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 one, two, three. Woo. Box, box, middle, middle, box, box, one, two, three. Box, box, middle, middle, box, box, one, two, three. Box, box, middle, middle, box. <laughs> they forgot the count. They forgot the count. They don't know where they're at. You had so much fun, you forgot the count. One, every step counts. So going one way is two, four, six. Yeah, every step counts as a rep. All right, so it's a simple kind of move. Simple kind of move, but it gets the heart rate up, gets you thinking a little bit. Hopefully that was a fun one. Hopefully you guys had some steps at home that you could do that with. It takes a little getting used to it, but once you get into that rhythm. All right. 
Yeah, always looking for exciting ways to change things up just a little bit. Add a little challenge to your day. Our last exercise. Triangle sit-ups. Cross that ankle over that knee. Keep that leg as straight as you can. And we do eight triangle sit-ups on each side. Take your time. All right, a little pit stop, a little pit stop. Quick question, check on the roster, see who didn't show up. Somebody late canceled, it happens, it happens. 6 a.m., stuff to get to. I don't blame you. Too much. All right, we're on to round two. All right, we've got 20 reps. That's 10 aside. Rotational press. All right, turn, press, pivot. Awkward exercise. It's not as easy as it might seem. It really doesn't look easy when some people do it. And the rotation, pivot that back foot, the press. Stay nice and tall that way. Ten aside, ten aside. All right. If you guys are a little bit ahead, you might be on your heel touch. Heel touch is on that box, slowly dropping. The outside leg can barely touch the heel to the ground. Ten aside, ten aside. Touches out there and cycling twists out there, right? Be somewhere around there, do a little faster, maybe with Kevin in the background. He's doing his around the world. He's keeping his back safe though, and not wanting to aggravate injury. So he's got both feet on the ground. Totally an option as well. Now Sherry's on to her cycling twists. Where are you at? Cycling twists or around the world? Around the world, you try to do that one foot, find that rhythm. Find that rhythm, find that pace. Try a little more pace. You're gonna get a little more pace. You're gonna be a little more comfortable. Like a figure eight. Don't even think about it. Just do it. That's it. Sherry's doing it. Sherry's got the pace down. She's going. Let's think it. Just do it. Pressure around the world. We're doing 20 of these. All right, so 10 each direction. All right, tennis leg, fly beach direction, you got that. All right, come back up, here we go, walk the dog. That's the forward to back lunge. The legs on the box. And go forward for one, back for two. All right, ten on each side. Sides on that. Now again, no box. You can easily do these right on the ground. No problem. Not so sure what's going to do here. It's that ankle she's working on getting better. And the goal, the key, well, the goal this way is to stay low on that box. You can see Henry, see how low he's staying. That knee is constantly bent. It's like you see in the tunnel, staying low. 
That uh, really activates those glutes and hamstrings. All right, next up is our side plank. Bottom knee, top elbow, lots of words. Here we go. Keep it long in that spine, long in that leg. Half that knee, that bar, top elbow. Bottom knee, top elbow. All right. Split stance, twist. Twist. I'm still Henry. We want to make this more difficult. Put those arms straight. The further out your arms are away from your torso, the more core you need to activate to keep yourself balanced. Oh, those groiners. Assisted groiners, if you want. You can do the regular groiners with the hands on the ground. But really, we're trying to pop up. You want to get to that nice low squat, just like you were in your squat to stand. Get that butt down low. Stay nice and low, no squats. Get that butt down low. Get that butt down low. That's it. That's it. Like you're going to sit on those steps. That's it. That's it. Henry's doing it now. That's what I was looking for. Get those squats low. Get those squats low. And you pop. You're popping. You're popping. Woo. All right. Anytime Sherry has to stop in the middle of the next size, that means it was a tough one. Need some cardio to get through this one. Woo. Like it, I like it, I like it. Woo. Nice job, guys. Nice job, nice job. All right, our V up, leg drop. All right, the goal is to get the legs up and then bring one leg up as you bring one leg down and then bring it back up to meet that leg before you drop the other one. And then Henry's doing it with the hands up. Yeah, that's the way we want to do it, right? Nice control, chest is forward, breathing. All right, that'll get the core burning, that'll get the core burning. Where we at, where we at, 21 minutes, all right. Good pace, good pace, good pace. Kneeling curl is next, all right. Again, our knees, taking all the power from our legs. Core is going to be nice and strong. We're nice and long, nice and tall with the shoulders. And then drop that weight all the way down below the waist. Strong curl. Come on. All right. to our squat touch. That one leg on the box stays nice and low, like we're stuck in a tunnel, right? Keep that knee pretty bent, and then we go over and back, over and back. Oof. Actually, this one isn't so bad now because of the count. We know we do it every time we move over the box as a rep. Last time we did this, we did 15 on each side. That would burn, that would burn. A lot of those are certainly add up. But doing ten of them aside isn't so bad. That's not so bad, right? Do a little rest break. Now we go to our push-ups. Oh, sticking with the elevated. All right, decline, I should say. Elevated feet. On those push-ups. That makes it difficult. Nice job, guys. Nice job. Look at everyone put their feet up on the box. Oh, I love it. Love it when people take the challenge. 
If you're up for that challenge, do it, do it, do it. If not, put on the ground. If you need the assistance, put the hands in the box. Okay, hands in the box will take some of the pressure off. You still drop to your knees, no problem, no problem. I gotta get that full range of motion, right? It's good to work the push ups the right way, get those muscles. Properly strong, don't miss the small stabilizing muscles. That's the issue sometimes when you overcompensate a certain exercise because it's easier to do it one way than another. Then the little muscles that you really need don't get worked, and then you get the imbalances and you get the pains and the little creaks here and there. And well, over many years, it adds up. Fuck, doesn't mean we can't correct it. Just go back to the fundamentals. All right, where are we at? Number five. Our Pulse squat. Okay, drop that weight. Okay, here we go. Pulse squat. All right. We got a squat, pulse, and stand. Squat, pulse, and stand. All right. Don't make it more difficult. You can do three pulses down there. Two or three pulses. You definitely add things up, right? Pop, pop. Oh, that's what Henry's doing. He's doing a double pulse. Double pulse. Like it. I like it a lot. Oh, the shirt's doing it now. Yeah, that's enough. Wow. Oh, that's right. That's right. So you do the regular pulse, one pulse. It's like two squats. Pulse, pulse. That's good. That's good. That's good. Nice, 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 nice. All right, all right. Just under 18 minutes left on that clock. All right, they get a good pace. They get a good pace. I'm thinking they'll be done with less than five minutes left on the clock. For their cardio, not bad, not bad. Man, I think I'm going to go to Stroker's house and start dropping stuff all over the place. What do you think? I kid, I kid because I love. All right, here we go with our lateral switch step, right? Step, step, middle, middle, step, step. One, two, three. Step, step. Oh, she messed it up. Oh, she messed it up. She messed it up. Uh, where's she going to be? There it is. Step, step, switch, switch, step, step. One, two, three. Step, step, switch, switch, step, step. One, two, three. All right. There we go. There we go. Get that rhythm. Get that rhythm going on. Woo. It's a lot of movement with those feet. It's a lot of movement in those feet. Stay in active. Stay in active. Use those arms. Pump those arms a little bit. Bring those legs up. Tap, 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 tap. All right, nice job, nice job. All right, all right, all right. And we finish up round two with our triangle subs. Ten side for a triangle sips. All right, yeah. All right, that is round two done. going on is that these guys are taking their sweet time so they don't have any cardio to do at the end they wouldn't do that you wouldn't do that at home right you make sure you go through the workout as fast as you normally would right not worried about how much time's left on the clock of course of course no one wants to prevent themselves from getting out the machines all right here we go on our third round, third and final round of exercises, 24 reps, 10, excuse me, 12, 12 per side, just to 10 side. If you have to break it down a little bit, you know, four and four, and then switch four and four, you know, that's fine. You have a weight that you can do, four and six on, but then have to throw the other side. 
Cycling twist is next. Twenty four of those. Tapping those hands. Twist the nose. That torso. Cycling the legs. All right, don't line one. Around the world. Around the world. Saving the beetle's life. We talked about doing the heel touch. She was doing it the right way, so she did not crush the beetle. She was able to get that beetle back out to safety. Now we have our other world. Keeping that balance on one leg, right? Keeping that stability. And using that kettlebell going around. Keeping that balance, keeping that balance. Now we got to walk the dog, right? That forward to back lunge with that foot on the box. Let's stay as low as you can. You go forward and back. Big old lunges, big old lunges. All right. Nice. Serious, keeping the foot on the ground. This other side, that's the ankle we're working on getting better. It's fine to do that at home as well. If you don't have that step, forward and back one works just the same. All right, now we have our upper side plank. Upper side plank, Sherry. Upper side plank. Uh, she forgot to do the upper side plank. Even seasoned veterans such as Sherry will still. Go to automatic mode. We go side plank so often from our forearms that when we do one that's supposed to be upper plank, sometimes just go back to automatic mode. That's all right. That's okay. Still doable. Still doable. We don't have as much room to get that leg through, so she's keeping the leg, the bottom leg, as in front versus kind of behind you. That's all right. That's all right. All right. Now the split stance slasher is next. And we got uh, Josh and Henry doing their walk the dogs. Woo. 
Let's dance. Twister in the middle. Try to stay nice and low on that. Try to stay nice and low. And we're under 10 minutes now, folks. We're under 10 minutes. Woo. I don't know about you, but man, this workout's been flying. It's been flying for me. Hope it feels like it's flying for you. Now we want to try to have some time left on that clock so we get some cardio in. Of course, if you you want to do some different cardio, or you don't need to do the cardio today, and you want to work just heavy on your equipment, on your exercises today, aiming to finish right at 40 minutes, that's fine too. That's kind of why this workout is designed this way. You're going to go heavy, you're going to go take your time, you're going to work on your exercises, that's great. You're going to go light and fast, you're going to get your cardio in. Free form Friday, whatever works for you, whatever works for you. We're on our assisted groin this here in the middle of the sherry, right? So I bring those feet up. Right underneath those shoulders, get that low squat. Pop those feet back out. All right, let's be halfway through. Nice deep breath. And we'll get back to it. Here we go. Pop, pop. Pop, pop. All right. Yeah, nice job. All right, Henry always goes to let of the law when I give him an exercise. All right, look at that deep squat. Yes, sir. That's the way to do it. That's the way to do it. Cherry's now on her V. Oh, leg drop. All right. She's doing the assisted version with the elbows on the ground. Otherwise, you have your arms straight up in the air, chest is leaning forward, pushing forward. Nice good control on these leg drops. Nice good control. All right. All right, we're on to our fourth line. Kneeling curl. Just under seven minutes left. Takes away all that night power. You're gonna use your core to keep your balance. <clears throat> 24 curls. That was a lot up. That was a lot up. Up those kneeling curls, we're on to that squat touch now. All right, leg on the box, stay nice and low. Keeping that constant bend in that knee, constant engagement of the glutes, excuse me, of your quads. Quads, I'm thinking. All right, big old muscles in the front of your leg. I'm constantly engage the side to side. 12 each leg, that's only six a side, no problem, no problem. It is humid. It is not even seven o'clock yet. Woo! I tell you to stay hydrated today. Stay hydrated. The real feel is already 80 degrees out there. I want to know what the real feel is like in here.
All right, we finished the squat touches. We're on to push ups. All right, 24 push ups. Come on. Again, see what you got. See what you got. Get as many as you can in there. Take a break for a second. Rest those arms. Shake it off. Nice deep breath. And then you get right back to it. Come on. Oh, goodness, we're at our four minute mark now. We're at our four minute mark. Oh, you guys gotta hustle to get the time on the machine. Come on. All right, get the nitty gritty now. Get the nitty gritty. Gotta stop moving, people. Gotta start moving. Come on. a great workout because it works on timing right you have a bigger stronger pace in the beginning you're able to follow through these uh, higher rep rounds but if you kind of take a, a slower pace your body gets into a little slower mood and then it, it's tougher to, to ramp it up there at the end i think these guys are doing great but i don't know they're going to get much cardio time in uh, last line we got our pulse spots pulse pulse come on let's get it let's get it You're gonna finish pretty much on time. Not much time for cardio. I don't know what that's gonna mean for the rest of the classes. Our 5 a.m. crew, they were all on the machines. They all had three or four, so had five or six minutes on the machines. Something happened at the 6 a.m. Maybe I warned them, maybe they went heavier. Oh, man, we slowed down here at the end. That's all right. It's all good work. It's all good work. 40 minutes of good work. That's for sure. I think these guys are probably going to work to finish their exercises, but they're not going to get the cardio in. That's all right. Enough cardio uh, when you go at a heavy pace. Enough to satisfy them, I think. Switch, lateral switch step, quick feet up, up, in middle, middle, up, up, one, two, three, so step, step, middle, middle, step, step, one, two, three, step, step, middle, middle, one, two, three, all right, all right, all right. That's it, that's it, all right, There's a lot of different phases everyone's at. A minute left on the clock. I think these guys are probably going to finish their work. I knew people were going to finish their workouts. So people are probably going to hop on their machine, maybe do a couple minutes of cardio. But you guys did a great job sticking with it. Hope you enjoyed this 
workout, some new exercises, fun ones, I hope. Listen, 4th of July weekend, be safe out there. Make sure you hydrate, drinking plenty of water, all right, guys? We'll be back at it on Monday morning. You have yourself a great weekend. Thanks so much. Like, share, thumbs up, all that fun stuff. And we'll see you on Monday.